you've ever enjoyed Mediterranean or Middle Eastern food, you're gonna love Persian food. And one of the few places to find some of the best is right here at Pars Grill House on West 26th Street in Manhattan. What do people need to know about Persian food who've never had it before? It's mostly about grilling and using organic meat, fresh vegetables. Vegetarian, meat eater, there is truly something for everyone. And you have beautiful flavors, but there's so much history and tradition behind almost every dish on the Persian table. If you would go to my grandma's house, and while she's cooking, she'll tell you, oh, you know, when her grandma was making this dish, she used to sing and do a little dance, maybe, and family is very important. There's only one volume for a Persian meal, and that's 10. <laughs> because the table is filled, everybody's around it. And that's why the meal sizes are usually larger. <laughs> we bring the Persian food and the culture into our little restaurant over here in Chelsea. Your family is kind of famous in Iran. Yes, my father did have a television show. That actually plays a big role in here also because when children and families come to the restaurant you know they're always wondering what are these puppets what are the puppets doing here <laughs> uh, and then uh, 34 year olds are wondering well, the same thing well it was sort of like the sesame street of iran teaching children farsi and english he was recognized from the u.s congress and you can see that artistry in every single dish i think it's time to eat all right let's dig in we're starting off over here with the kubi day a Persian restaurant is tested on their kubi day. Basically, it's um, lamb and beef together with onion. In Iran, actually, in Persia, like kubi day is the number one kebab dish. The next popular dish is uh, shirin polo. It has orange zest, carrots, almonds, and raisins. And the yellow color is from the saffron. Having the sweet rice mixed with the savory kubi day, my dream bite. <laughs> go ahead, go for it. Mm. Oh my god. Your taste buds are on edge because they don't know what's coming next and everything is more delicious than the next. I'm taking all this home. Let's bring out round two. One of the dishes that blew my mind most the first time I ever had Persian food is Thessinjan. Beautiful walnut stew that is mixed with pomegranate and molasses. So it has this hearty, savory, sweet, tangy, it's just crazy. People who have never tried Persian food before, once we recommend the Thessinjan, people love it. And then one of the other things that I love so much, adas polo. Unlike the sweet rice before, this is a savory rice, which I think pairs perfectly with the sweet and tangy fesenjan. Those two things together, mind blown. And right next to that, now you don't have to have it like this, but you can, that's the lamb shank. And that thing is crazy. I could never finish this no. alone by myself. You have the savory, sweet lentil rice beneath, this tangy fesenjan. Mm. It is a hearty stew, yes. but it's light. Everything in there, it's very, very healthy for you. And now I think it's time to pack these up and move on to round three. Two of the most famous dishes in all of Persian cuisine, gorma sabzi, the national dish of Iran, and tadig, the most famous crispy rice dish in the world. Listen to this. Oh, that is the sound I'm looking for right there. The best way to eat crispy tadig is to put a nice stew on top of it. We have some beef gorma sabzi, but again, it can be vegetarian if you want. It has lots of healthy herbs, healthy beans, and preserved lime, which gives it such a beautiful brightness. I gotta try this Go thing already. Ahead. Mm. Perfection. This flavor and texture combination is perfect, and we see it not only here, but in everything we've tried today. And if you love Mediterranean food, you have to come down here, Persian food at Pars Grill House and Bar, right here in Chelsea, for a flavor adventure like you've never had before. And if you play your cards right, maybe a picture with the puppets. <laughs> and maybe a little show. And maybe some more crunching of the Taji. <laughs> I love it. that sound. <laughs>